Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and uh, I hope I can get a transcript. Uh, uh, the uh, and also, I can't find the chat with when I'm in presentation mode, so um, I can't post the uh, the links now. I guess I'll do it at the break or something. Is that correct? Anyway, so if, if if you do that at the break, Jesse, or you can in, in in the break just email them to me if you still can't find the chat, and I can post them for you. I don't oh, know. I can. All right, Tony. I I will uh, email them to you uh, um, at some point here. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, I will reply to you and include a. Uh, uh, both uh, the uh, first and second session in one email. And um, uh, all right. All right, there it goes. Thank you. And uh, Okay, we've got your screen back. Good. Yeah. So I know I don't need that. That will open anymore. And save that. And... All right. So uh, I hope you recognize that there's a, a cave drawing in the middle and a, and a landscape that is um, of Mexico, Mexico City of, of uh, humanity sprawled all over the place. And uh, what I study is the, the processes by which these behaviors become organized and then what happens to them. It always seems to start with growth. All systems seem to start with growth. Uh, they start from some combination of, uh, of things that's energizing and and accumulates more things and uh, and then develops a form that lasts for a while or 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 not. So um, at the top here, you can see a, a little image of an air current uh, being uh, generated by heat from the sun on a flat surface and and some it's actually a, a little vortex ring that um, um that, that develops and allows the um uh, uh, to turn things on uh and uh and it develops a column in the center and it that takes off develops a, a concentration of energy which breaks through the layers above it so that's the the takeoff process is that accumulation uh, and centering of, of the heat. And then the, the second image is of, of a seedling that does the same thing and then uh, something goes wrong and it falls over. Um, so it, growth starts with success, successfully exploiting um, uh, the local resources, some, some design pattern, whether it's a, uh, a spark to a new relationship or an invention that starts a new business or, or partnership. Uh, uh, those, those things are the, um, the surprising of beginning events, the, uh, the, the moments of, of uh, inspiration uh, that uh, start growth systems. And then some some survive a long time, like and, and and have a nice sail in the world. That's what the sailboats were. Um, so, but many won't, and because life is hazardous, all sorts of things happen. And uh, uh, in fact, uh, every kind of system needs to have its own its own way of steering uh, in life in order to. Um, avoid um, 
the uh, the crises that will will occur either from outside intrusion or insert inside development in the wrong direction. Of course, that's what our world is involved in at the moment is a uh, an extraordinary crisis of misdirection uh, um, uh, committed to dub doubling in size even now even now the, the world is committed and and energetically pursuing an effort to double in in size physically and and complexity and speed of change and reorganization all the different things that come with growth an explosive process which from which everything that lives emerges but then survives or not if if it learns how to get off of the escalator so here the pictures are of, of the normal life for uh, uh, successful uh, first world uh, um, adults uh, uh, and uh, uh, male and female uh, there's a that, that first period, that growth period from the germination of the seed to, to uh, well, the, the first inflection point of the curve is the actual explosive growth period and that ends in birth. And then there's a, a longer period of, of uh, maturation, um, where our growing up period uh, that, that uh, prepares us um, both physically and, and mentally and socially um, for living in the world. Then we have a, a nice long life and enjoy ourselves and, 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 uh, and of course fade and, and pass in the end anyway, um, with things falling apart and somewhat the reverse sequence of how they fell together in the first place. But the, those, those, those early steps, that explosion in the beginning and then getting out of the explosion to uh, then mature and 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 define what how that that new energized system uh, can work in the world. So there's there's create and then and then coordinate and then enjoy life. And uh, the first stage is to exploit uh, the environment when it's tiny, tiny. That multiplies it's, it's a exploitation of the environment the, the for a um, uh, for a human embryo it, it multiplies its exploitation of of its mother by a, a, a factor of a trillion um, before birth and uh, and and then um, it surely must get the the eye if it has any thoughts it's likely to have some it's it's got a, rather a complex uh, 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 biology by the time it's ready for birth, uh, it's likely to see birth as the end of everything because of all the pressure and the, and the strain and, and, uh, and have no idea of what's coming. And that's sort of the situation we're in, really, where we can't imagine what's beyond growth. And uh, um, uh, even though we have started to transition from growth and whether it's to collapse or to surviving and uh, to a, a long um, creative experience on Earth, uh, um, if if uh, if the relationship between the the um, growth period of a human and the life of a human um, uh, is one to uh, I forget four hundred or something. Uh, Anyway, it would it would mean for us, um, you know, four hundred times our growth period, about three hundred years. So four hundred times three hundred. Um, so so that's twelve thousand years, I think. Is it? Um, uh, that would be the the, the uh, normal normal life of a human scaled up to the size of civilization. Um, but um, so we don't know what. The future holds in many ways, but we're going to try to find out. Of course, the right image is, expresses the, the the pleasure of man in in taking off and and 
finding its power and and then the horrible suffering of of our separation from from life and nature and each other and we don't understand that and uh, that's something that's part of my study too um what creates this separation and why our world is so blind to the the world around it uh, the contexts of the world and uh, Context is a key word. The context is really the local environment uh, of any particular circumstance and uh, is full of organization. Every context is differently organized. Um, and, uh, and all the ecological principle is that everything builds a home and uh, homes are, are secure centers uh, with connections. And that's a very important structural feature that uh, uh, works great at some scales and then doesn't work so well at others. But the way a home is organized is that it has a, a, a hive of relationships inside of, of, of a zero distance of, of uh, connection. Uh, or one, uh, whichever way you want to number that. Um, and so everybody is connected to everybody directly within a home. And that's pretty close to the same in a neighborhood. Um, if it's a small neighborhood and, um, and uh, everybody has some idea of everybody else. But uh, uh, the way science has depicted nature is as, um, nodes and, and networks that are that don't have uh, an interior or a environment. And uh, so that's part of why we're in trouble, uh, that we've been thinking about um, the, the world in terms of uh, our abstractions for it. And uh, abstractions are, are very, very fun very profitable, give you all sorts of ideas of what might be, but they're, uh, uh, and the concepts that we make out of them, uh, but they're disconnected from their contexts. So if you, it's very easy to overextend them. So um, uh, let's see. Now in nature, it's more like a family, of course, with uh, uh, everyone, having roots and all our roots entangled with all the others. And uh, you, know, a, a, you can't have a hurricane without an atmosphere. Uh, you know, you can make rules for a hurricane and they don't talk about the atmosphere, but they don't work without, without the atmosphere. Um, and, uh, uh, and, and then of course there's, there's the relationships of a tree, both in the soil, reaching out, exploring the soil and in the air, reaching out and, and uh, gathering from the air and making places for things to fertilize it. All these complex relationships um, and uh, a snowflake grows from a tiny little seed, a pattern that's uh, unique in every case. Um, now, some of that uniqueness may develop as it grows but it has a way of communicating the, the, the next new pattern throughout the, throughout the uh, snowflake as, as condensation occurs on all these complicated shapes. And then of course, uh, the family, the working family that is the anchor of everything we do. So this is a, this is a nice slide and uh, I, I like to, to go on and talk a little bit more. Um, there's the city, of course, um, that uh, uh, that's, cities are the centers of human cultures, high human cultures. Uh, and uh, although, you know, the, the uh, um, you know, the, the way they're built is, is in neighborhoods and the, uh, the neighborhoods are built in terms of uh, family networks and, and the uh, commercial networks are, are built of, of uh, 
uh, different types in different places. So it's really a very organic thing in the end, as organic as um, uh, everything else uh, in the world, really. All the systems are organic uh, in, in, in essence, um, uh, although we have gotten into a habit of describing them in terms of rules um, and following rules. Um, now, this S curve on the left is sort of a universal pattern and recognized throughout nature. It's the learning curve of anything, the development curve of anything, the transformation curve of anything, but they are, they're not following rules. They're evolving the organization of the system that's changing. So these are naming the, the, the uh, stages of, of uh, transformation as stages of organizational development. The first little star um, is the germination. Uh, and then the, that uh, initiates the energetic accumulation of new design in some uh, context in which there is ample resources for it. And, uh, and growth generally, as in the womb, happens almost in isolation. Uh, growth, the uh, compound growth, uh, is the period of growth without any competition or limits. And uh, um, you know, humanity is not ready for competition or limits, but you know, they come upon you. And uh, but that's usually the shortest period of transformation. Um, the longer period is the the maturation period, the growing up one, and uh, and the and in between them, there's this. This realization, that's the radical realization that we need to be engaged in nowadays, um, and that's switching from uh, creating ourselves to coordinating with the world we're going to live in, and uh, the growing up, and then of course after growing up, you're in be on the way to growing up. There's a there's a graduation point where you you become independent. And uh, it's much the same for for systems when they're when they reach their maturity and fully able to handle the competition in the in the big world. And then in the middle is this home design, which is the Aegean Bronze Age home. Um, uh, that is the origin of Greek uh, language, family, culture, and architecture, and and science. Um, it's a very scientific home. They they used uh, put columns in the center so they could have a great big room with a low hearth in the center, so lots of people could sit around for long periods of time. And they they did they did that. Well, they had the columns in the center because they had short logs, so they they needed a column uh, and a beam structure to hold up the roof and uh, and then of course there's the uh, in the back there's the sleeping room um, um, and then the, the family room so that is that's where the, the 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 strongest anchor of our culture came from only it got got strangely changed as as it um, uh, entered the world of the uh, um, of the power power systems uh, that uh, grew and collapsed all around it and uh, became part of our power system that's headed for both growth and collapse. Here's the more detailed view of the, the curve. Um, and uh, the big change in plans is where we are at now. You know, it's, it's birth in the in uh, animal life, it's also birth in the life of a business. You know, when it's the end of the garage period in business, uh, when the thing is invented, or the end of the the uh, 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 conceptual design phase of architecture. It's the it's that point of viability where something is highly undeveloped. Um, we're fully formed, but highly undeveloped. That's when 
it's good to change plans. And of course, humanity's been sort of at that point many times and didn't change plans. So we better change plans this time. Um, so there's learning the signals. And uh, we, we, we steer by nonverbal signals all the time uh, in, our, in our lives and, and in our uh, uh, work and play. And, um, and we uh, uh, read and respond to uh, uh, the, uh, the behaviors and the, and the changes uh, around us. And uh, that's what uh, uh, is, is really important to understand in order to ha know how to steer, to understand the relationships that you're, you're changing with. Now, um, uh, Eleanor Ostrom and Gerald Megley are, are leading scientists who've uh, gained fame and fortune, sort of. I don't know how much fortune. Um, this time thing. Very um, sorry. Um, uh, or finding uh, really good methods of helping uh, people with conflicts uh, understand the environments they need to serve. Um, because usually the conflicts come with uh, come from misunderstanding the environment, and uh, uh, and that's sort of where we are globally too. Uh, that we've committed our our lives to disrupting nature ever more rapidly, ever, uh, in perpetuity, uh, and that's not going to work. So we're going to need a new plan, and uh, uh, that's. That's what I've spent uh, decades uh, studying. And uh, um, it's unbelievable so far because we're still in the growth phase and determined to stay there. And so you can't con conceive of it uh, from that point of view, um, or at least not easily, not, not without some vigorous effort. But uh, yeah, Gerald uh, uh, has, uh, I have links to both Eleanor's and Gerald's work in the in the in the chat. If Tony's put them there, um, as well as uh, uh, the other other some of the other uh, topics, and uh, you know, what I do with, uh, of the same sort is uh, uh, offer a guided uh, context engagement to people, um, which amounts to uh, having a a value or a purpose that matters to them, and then exploring the uh, various contexts in which there are things that connect with it, uh, positive, negative, um, et cetera. And by exploring those uh, system relationships, um, it all, almost always becomes very clear at a certain point, oh, now I see what I need to do. Um, and uh, it, it's 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 just a matter of being open to questioning things and being uh, th and thinking about um, what are all the things that must be going on here um, in order for this to work or this not to work, etc. Uh, sort of a you know the kind of thing that a designer does with a design, but applying it to uh, a cultural environment, uh, which is is where we are. I, I uh, ran into one yesterday in my own own building, the, the uh, uh, misunderstanding uh, uh, coming up because different people had different images of the, of the cultural environment. And uh, nobody was disagreeing about anything. They just were sending false signals. Anyway, um, and then, the the other root of of my work is is um, in language is the discovering that language is a um, an extremely old thing. All the all the word almost all the words we have 
come from syllables that had an individual meaning before th there were words. Uh, words are, co are compound, uh, they're, they're complex systems, uh, as well as se se sentences, of course, and paragraphs and, and essays and stories. And, uh, but the words themselves are complex systems too. Um, uh, well, except for, I guess in this case, the uh, uh, presenting system physics grow and observe here, the etymologies, uh, grow is um, close to one syllable. Uh, uh, I guess it's one syllable. And it um, uh, also means to become green. And of course, in in uh, modern culture, grow is uh, has to do with profits, and and money, and numbers, and calculations, and percentages, and uh, error uh, uh, allowances, and so forth. And it, and it really has nothing to do with organization. That's another big part of where we're steering wrong: is we're we're not paying attention to the things we're steering. Um, uh, the things we're steering are complex organizations with deeply rooted connections in other things. Um, then there's system, uh, which uh, originally came from uh, the, the syllables uh, uh, sin and sta, um, um, meaning together uh, and stand. So a system is something that stands together. It's, it's a whole. Uh, something that uh, also um, uh, the uh, let me see the the uh, uh, oh, I forgot the other one oh well uh, and that's um, and that, th those are those are the meanings um, those are the roots of natural system science um, uh, begun ten thousand years ago probably. Um, uh, with clear recognition of the organizational properties of, of the forms of nature and uh, that uh, physics has lost, even, even uh, system science, uh, most uh, conventionally educated system scientists object to the idea of organization existing in systems because physics doesn't allow for that. It's only as numerical properties and they don't organize. And uh, so that's another major uh, difference between um, uh, natural systems and, and uh, conventional systems. Nat natural systems is about um, the organization of, of things uh, and the, the words that refer to them and the words that refer to systems in context, both the system, which is the interior part, and the relationships, both the home, both the interior of the home, and its connections. And, and what words, the language of words, forms a science of as, as, as much as you can find it, uh, uh, given our... Um, thousand year hiatus from thinking of of uh, nature as organized um, as scientifically um, that, that um, uh, distinguish it from modern modern science uh, in context versus principles and rules taken out of context and physics itself um, mm -hmm came from uh, a Greek word for um, uh, the, uh, uh, the sense of or study of nature and uh, uh, and uh, uh, a, a, a term uh, the Greek term for nature uh, phusis, uh meaning growing becoming itself uh, uh, or to grow or to appear. 
that's not what physics is about. That's what the word was uh, dramatically revised, you know, um, a revisionist, a uh, radical revision was made to the words for the natural world. And that, that of course, is also related to the problem that we have. Uh, but it's also a way to possibly begin to correct our problem. Then observe is uh, uh, another word that is surprisingly uh, uh, unrecognized. It comes from uh, uh, ab is to have something put put in front of you and observe is to serve. Uh, so ob observing things is to care for them, really. That was the, the sense of the word from which the term came. And, uh, so where did all this come from? Um, uh, we, we successfully steer all sorts of things all the time. It's just our society we have a problem with. Uh, it was my brother who, who told me about how focused executives are um, about family security. He was a, an executive, um, unaware of, of growth, putting them in ever greater danger, the thing they work on and, and pursue. And uh, so that kind of irony is really what drove all the work that, that I'm talking to you about today. Um, I was an architect uh, after being a physicist and doing my original system science, I, I went back to architecture um, um, and, uh, uh, and that showed me um, the stages of design that are universal in growth uh, because every design goes through a growth process and they're very, the, the, the steps are very clearly displayed. Um, why it wasn't previously noticed as applying universally? I don't know any other reason except that we've been subjected to the scientific cause and effect um, idea. Um, and uh, uh, for so long, we lost our understanding of how nature works. And um, um, I hear that ringing. So, and then a neighborhood friend, a, a home life professor, a, um, a, a distinguished professor at Lehman College here in New York, uh, who uh, was also a, a daughter of a Russian poet, um, uh, uh, took an interest in learning how to um, uh, uh, recover revisionist histories of, of feminine uh, relationships and, and studied uh, Roman scholars uh, and un untangled the connection of modern life that I followed further, um, the, uh, that, that Hestian or the uh, uh, proto-Greek home, the scientific home, that all that stuff came from, uh, all that art and, 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 and ingenious uh, thinking um, that the Greeks uh, uh, developed came from uh, 2,000 years of living in that home. And uh, uh, an example of one of the um, many, actually, Bronze Age cultures that really had it together who weren't frantically trying to multiply and conquer and all that stuff. Uh, peaceful people improving their arts, Chinese, and e Egyptians, and lots of people. But then, then, then that other thing took over, that thing that, that uh, using concepts to, to, to refine your uh, control principles for using profit to multiply profit. But anyway, so I've talked more about um, the problem than I, than I expected. Um, 
but that uh, that is the you know I guess the, we have some time now. I don't know how much. Um, uh, how much time do we have for questions uh, before the break? Um, we probably would take a break about now, but I think probably that the sensible thing just is if we just allow a couple of questions okay. and then get people back and then allow you to continue and then maybe we'll have a little bit more time towards the end if that's possible okay. with you. All right. Very good. So I'm probably going to restrict it to a couple so that we don't end up um, using up all of your talking time. So is, is there anyone with some obvious questions now? Uh, Any staff? Anybody here? have ideas or or, or complaints, uh, Robin? <laughs> Go on, Hello, Robin. Yeah, thank you. Um, it's just a question about the the nature's integral, the S curve um, model. Um, you sort of implied that was just a single life cycle. Um, well, it's curve. a transformation. It's a single. Transformation, yeah. Would would it be possible to model that as a series of transformations picking up one from the next to the next to the next, so it grows? Yeah, that except that it doesn't happen that way very often. I mean, it does happen. Uh, certainly in school, it happens. We go through a dozen years of, of uh, up and up and up, bigger steps uh, in school, but that's part of uh, a single life, uh, too. Um, and uh, uh, you know, certainly businesses tool up and tool up and tool up, uh, um, but they generally get to a, a stable state that's uh, uh, working well and, and fully formed, and and stick with that for a while. And so the it it's the uh, it's the formation that holds it together um, in the end. And uh, I, I I think that. Um, you know, that very popular notion of leapfrogging uh, growth periods uh, that I, I guess sort of catapulted from uh, um, the, uh, oh, I'm, I'm, my mind is blank. Um, uh, that that uh, figure eight uh, 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 cycle, uh, evolutionary cycle that is so popular, uh, that, that represents um, a transformation as a continuity, and I'm I'm representing it as an event, uh -huh. and, and and we have to deal with events. Okay, Jesse, can I can I follow up that point? Um, sure. If if the if we're sort of saying there's a transformation, is it is it just a question of the level you're looking at it? Could you argue that actually the whole thing is sort of recursive? in that the transformation is like one, there is a big curve, but within it, there's lots of little cycles and lots of little curves. Is that a fair way of looking at it or is that a distortion of, of thinking about that? Well, I, I think it's it's a nesting. Ah. Uh, uh, and that it's finite. The, 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 the circular, the, the, the recursive uh, development is, is finite within the uh, growth of the individual system. Uh, and, uh, um, you know, it does occur, um, but it doesn't, uh, it, it, you know, it doesn't, after you've exhausted a planet, you don't get 20 more planets. It's not a, <laughs> nature's gift bag does not include that, um, you know. Okay. If, yeah. And one last question before a break, anybody? Otherwise, I'll call it to a break and then we can come back. OK, folks, can we take a maximum, please, of four to five minutes? Just come straight back. Everyone, just don't don't drop off the call, please. Just put yourself on um, on mute uh, and then come back in four to five minutes and we will continue. Thank you. Jesse, sorry, sorry you had so much yeah. trouble with the... Um, with the connection was it just software at your end that 